हाई एवरी वन दिस इज शाश्वत मनोज झा आई एम रियली हैप्पी अबाउट द सक्सेसफुल कम्पलीशन ऑफ टास्क वन गिवन बाय द स्पार्क्स फाउंडेशन एज अ डेटा साइंस एंड बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स इंटर्न दिस टास्क इज अबाउट प्रडिक्शन यूजिंग सुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग एलगोरिदम्स वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट हेयर सो लेट सी वो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज द टास्क वन इज अ सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन टास्क involving two variables it says that what will be the predicted score if a student studies for 9.25 hours per day now first of all we must import the important libraries such as matplotlib for data visualization and pandas for dataset creation i have also imported libraries like seaborn and scipy i have uploaded the data provided to the server and then loaded it into pandas data frame We can have a quick glance of the data set by head command to look at the first 5 columns of the set. And using the info function, we can see the number of rows and columns the data set has. And we can also see an important factor here that the data set has no null values, so we can process further without any issues. I have uploaded this file on my personal server and also on GitHub. the following commands shows mean standard deviation all the quartiles and the correlation between the values of the data set i also feel we should always check whether there are any outliers in the numerical columns of the data set for that we use the z score of the data a z score is nothing but the numerical measurement that describes a values relationship to the mean of the values after that i have plotted the data on a histogram using dist plot from seaborn library to see the univariate data distribution after that i have used seaborn's joint plot function to see the relationship between scores and hours studied we can clearly see there is a strong positive relation between the hours studied and the percentage scored so as the value of hours increase the value of scores will also increase after that i have written snippets to perform linear regression we can calculate the coefficients of a simple linear regression equation to train and deploy our prediction model now we can make predictions using the data and we can see the first five predictions here plotting the data on a scatter plot makes it easier to compare the actual and the predicted scores we can now see the predictions of the value given in the problem statement that is 9.25 and we can see the predicted score of around 92 here here i have checked for the root mean square error which is found to be okay we have the ols model here on the scatter plot we can observe that the predicted value for 9.25 hours is around 92 i have added an additional conclusion here we can set a cut off marks and check whether a student has passed or not and create a column to store it we can see good accuracy and have predicted three outcomes of whether a student will pass or fail depending on the score the outcomes shows studying 9.25 hours will let you pass through the exam studying 14 hours will also let you pass through the exam but studying 3 hours uh, might get you in trouble thank you for being with me till the end any queries can be sent on mail at shashwatmanojjha.com Have a nice day